Hi, this is Charlie Calvert, and this is the first in a series of very short pattern videos where I'm going to show you patterns that we will use quite a bit in Prog 118. This pattern involves creating a class and showing some content inside of a text box. Let's begin by opening up the toolbox and let's drop down a button and let's drop down a text box. We'll go ahead and we'll arrange these in some minimal way just so that we have a little tiny bit of organization here. And now I'm not going to uh, make any other changes. I want to make this video as quick as possible. So we have a button click method here. We press F2 to rechange the name. Now, I'm going to create a class. I'll go to Project, and I'll choose Add Class. And I will call this class My Class. Now, I've gone ahead and created this class. The only thing I'll do is make it public because I want you to remember to always do that. And then I'm switching back to my main form. Now I'm going to create an instance of that class. My class, my class equals new, my class. Okay? Now, as you recall, we dropped down a text box. What we're going to do is we're going to put we're going to call the toString method of this class and we're going to put its content inside our text box. I run the program, bring the form over where you can see it, I press the button and now you can see the result of calling the toString method displayed in form 1. Let me show you again what we've done here. We created an instance of the class and we called one of the built-in methods that classes all have called toString. Okay? And one last time, take a look at the class. It's very simple. Okay? It has a toString method because that's built into every class. It inherits it from a class called object. So that's all I wanted to show you was to make sure everybody understood how to instantiate a class and how to call one of its methods and display it in a text box. Thank you.